Oh, and welcome. It's me, Marles44. Welcome back to another Kurt Fight Vanguard. Kurt Fight Area Deck Profile. The ladies deck profile. We have V, Maiden of the Flowers of Rangulus, Aisha. <laughs> so, yeah, um, Flower Maiden of Rangulus, Aisha. I, I don't know how I was supposed to do that. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, with the, uh, you know, Vanguard G releasing, um, uh, uh, we got an. A Neo Nectar deck that came out and support for it too and um, Neo Nectar is not a clan we really see often but definitely a lot of fun um, to use and abuse and well yeah it's just a really good deck overall um, very very solid at doing the Neo Nectar thing <laughs> anyways um, yeah uh, let's just go right into the deck I believe this is after booster set 2 of G uh, don't, don't, uh, quote me on that, but I believe so. Um, anyways, our starter is Spring Awaiting Maiden Oz, Oz. She's, she's the daughter of the Wizard of Oz. Um, <laughs> and her skill is Generation Break 1. Uh, Counterblast 1, put it in your soul, choose another one of your grade 2 or less rearguards. Search your deck for up to one card with the, eh, bleh, with the same name as that unit, call it to rear, and shuffle your deck. So, just, you know. Tutor, like always. <laughs> Good setup. Yeah, pretty much. And then we have four Flower Maiden of Renculius Aisha on the grade threes. Sorry, I forgot to say that part. Uh, what she does is Generation Break 2. During your turn, if you have another unit with the same name as this unit on your Vanguard or Rearguard, this unit gets 5,000 power. Um, and another skill is Counterblast 1. During your turn, when your G unit stride, you may pay the cost if you do choose one of your rear guards, search up to one card with the same name as that unit called to rear guard, shuffle your deck, and the unit called with this effect gets power plus 2000 until end of turn. So, um, yeah, pretty strong card. Uh, just getting your pluses um, and getting the power on having, you know, the same units as the units you have on rear guard circle the normal neo nectar stuff but just a really really solid solid card um yeah um and then we also our other grade three is four vegetable avatar dragon now there's really no other grade three that works too well with uh aisha you could play um uh what's her face um trailing rose made in a trailing what was it Rose, if you like, but uh, I think Vegetable Avatar Dragon works better. Um, his first skill is Generation Break 1. Counterblast 1, at the beginning of your main phase, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to one card named Vegetable Avatar Dragon. Call it to rear guard and shovel your deck. So it helps, uh, you know, helps you get that nice little setup. Uh, and then its other skill is Counterblast 1, Soul Blast 1. When this unit is placed on Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your Grade 2 or less rear guard, search your deck for up to one card. Same name as that unit. Call it to rear guard and shuffle your deck. So the only reason I chose this one over Maiden of Trailing Rose is this one's more consistent and you don't need, you know, a Persona Blast, uh, which which definitely makes it more consistent. Um, and, I mean, normally I don't use this Generation Break 2 skill. You can use it if you want, but that's not what I normally use. I use it uh, on Ride skill, which is pretty handy for setting up, especially if you didn't get Aisha. Um just helps you continue continue the pattern of setting up so uh, that's why I run four of them um, as I said there's really not too much you can run alongside her because she is the focus just like every other stride deck you know you really do have a focus vanguard which is actually quite nice and uh, works surprisingly well um, anyways on to grade two twos uh, so we have four Grace and Knight, uh, Generation Break 1, it becomes a 12k attacker. So, four of those, nice and solid uh, 12k attackers. Um, and then we also have four Maiden of Gladius. Uh, what she does is Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, if this unit is boosted, you may pay the cost. If you do choose another one of your rear guards, search your deck for up to one card with the same name as that unit. Call it to rear guard and shuffle your deck. Uh, excuse me um so yeah uh just really solid card for helping to set up no, nothing you could really say there you know it's good <laughs> um and then we also have four trifle knight mirror dream um 
Sorry, don't know how to say that. Generation Break 1. Um, blah, 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 sorry. Counterblast 1 and Soul Blast 1. Put this unit on top of your deck. And at the end of your turn, you may pay the cost. If you use search your deck for up to two cards named Trifle Knight, Mare Hope, call them to rear guard and shuffle your deck. So there's a great one that goes along with it. It's kind of like the, um, oh, what's the, what's their name? Um, I'm trying to remember the name. It's, it's pretty much like, uh, ah, here she is. Maiden of Cherry Bloom and the other great one that goes along with her. If they hate, you know, you get the Cherry Stone, but this time you get two. Um, and, I mean, you don't even have to hit at the end of your turn. So, it gives you more of a setup option um, to get two grade, two, two, uh, grade ones that are the same name uh, in your back row. And then, they can actually one of them can actually go back into the deck to bring one of these out. So, um, and then vice versa, to bring two out, put one back to bring one more out, and it can it can just continue the pattern, and it's actually really, really solid. Um, it works very well with the deck, and is just uh, definitely one of the uh, strongest cards for Neo Nectar because of just how Neo Nectar works. Um, <clears throat> uh, anyways, let's move on to Grade 1. Uh, so we have four Maiden of Passion Flower, uh, so four P guards, pretty standard uh, on flipping ones because you do use quite a bit of counter blast and um, there's a, a G stride unit. There's a stride unit that you can use, but it's like three counter blasts, so it's quite a hefty cost. And I mean, you can use it if you can get her off, so uh, it's not too bad. It's yeah, but um, it'll let you just do more your Neo Nectar thing. Um, so, pretty solid. Uh, and then we got four Stride Enablers. You know, searches for Aisha, gets plus two grade. Standard stuff. Um, and then we also have four Trifle Knight Mare Hope. So this is the uh, version go that goes with uh, Mare Dream. Um, so what it does is Generation Break 1. Put this unit on the top of your deck. Search your deck for up to one card named Trifle Knight Mare Dream. Call to rear and shuffle your deck. Um... It's not, yeah, it's not specific, so you can do it. Yeah, I got to do it on your main phase, but uh, after you've gotten two of these, you could just put one in the deck, get uh, Mirror Dream out, and then if you want, call a great one to rear guard or something. Um, but, yeah, it's it's big on setup, and Neo Nectar just loves these cards, don't they? <laughs> um, surprisingly, this might actually be quite a short deck profile. And then we have one, uh, Arcane Musketeer, Sunana, uh, Su Su Susanna, um, you know, the Soul Blast 2 draw. Um, I just play this card situationally. Uh, you could trade this one card out for anything you want. Uh, I just play this situationally um, because, you know, you're not going to Soul Blast. You do use the Soul a bit. Um, not a whole lot. It's it's mainly the grade two uh, that uses it. Um, the the one that switches out for uh, Mare Hope. Um, so it's not a whole whole lot. And this will just let you use it. Uh, I mean, you have the grade three, but you're not gonna really use it unless you don't have Aisha, because uh, Aisha is your goal. Um, so I just have one of these because uh, just get an extra card. And there's no really other there's no other card that you can really play in the deck. That's one of. I mean. If you find something you'd rather play, go ahead and play it. It's just, there's one card left to play, and I was kind of like, well, I'll play this card because it's situational. So, might as well um, put something that's situational that's only one of, right? Um, anyways, on to triggers. So, four Queen Musketeer Danielle, Night Queen Musketeer Danielle, and four uh, the <laughs> Dungan Chestnut. So, eight crit. Uh, you know, standard 8 crit stuff. Um, I don't know what the new critical triggers look like. Oh, wait, sorry. My mistake. It's not 8 crit. It's uh, it's 12 crit. Uh, and for Maiden of DeForest, uh, this is the new crit. That's right. So we got 12 crit in the deck. Uh, 12 crit Neo Nectar. Um, I think it's very good because I find the draws don't really work just because of the factor of, well, the draws are kind of eh 
because you really do get so much from your uh, superior calling. It's ridiculous. It's it. I yeah. Uh, I don't know. I draws just don't really work. You just get so much from uh, what uh, Neo Nectar does so fast and just yeah. I, I definitely think 12 crit is uh, very suited for this deck. If you want to play a crit for draw, go ahead. Um, another option is, well, actually, no, that's the only other option, really, um, that'll work well. And then we also have four heal, uh, four, so four fairy light a dragon. Looks pretty cool, actually. Um, and now, on to our stride units. Wow, I already ran on to our stride units. This one's going fast. So we got four secret tree dragon, jingle flower dragon. Uh, I thought it's a tingle flower dragon, but okay. Um, <laughs> um. So once per turn, choose a face down card named Sacred Tree Dragon, Jingle Flower Dragon from your G Zone, turn a face up, and if the number of face up cards in your G Zone is two or more, choose one of your units. Until end of turn that unit is con continuous. During your turn all your units uh all your units get power plus two thousand for each unit you have with the same name as this unit. So say your whole back row is Mayor Hope, that unit would gain six K. I'm not sure if all of them gain. Um, all your units get power plus 2,000 for each unit you have with the same name as this. Okay, so yes, all three would get 6k. All Mayor Hope. And that's uh, what makes Mayor Hope so good. And also, you know, just what, what the deck can do too. Um, so it'll just help you basically just set up for Mayor Hope. Um, uh, they'll all gain 6k, so they'll, be, they'll all be like 13k boosters. Um, it's not a whole ton of power, but it is quite a lot of power, especially on a turn for stride. Um, it's not like 20k power, but <laughs> I mean, that'd be pretty broken. We superior call too much in this deck, you know what I mean? That'd be broken. But yeah, it's, it's still, uh, I'm not trying to say it's bad. I'm saying it's really good, but you know, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm used to I'm used to playing something like Kagura, so this isn't something I'm too used to. But uh, I see how good this is. Um, so yeah, just very very strong. Um, and then we have three Flower Princess of Spring Color Abria. Um So what she does is, when this unit attacks, hits a Vanguard. You choose one of your rearguards, search your deck for up to one card with the same unit as that unit. Call to rearguard, shuffle your deck. And the unit call with this effect gains 2k until end of turn. So, uh, yeah, you can basically have a 9k booster, and behind a, you know, your 12k beater, um, it'll hit for 21, so a nice mark. Uh, this card is just pretty good because it helps you superior call copies. And also, unlike some others, this card actually gives it a boost of power, like the Royal Paladin one you just hit, but, and call something. But uh, this one gives us a power, and that's. That's actually really good, especially with the 12k beater in front. So, uh, very, very, just very solid. Um, and it'll help you get clones too, quite a bit. Where, yep. Um, <clears throat> and then we also have one Flower Princess of Spring's beginning, Primavera. Uh, what she does is Counterblast 3, choose five normal units from your drop zone, put them on top of your deck in any order, and choose two cards from your hand and discard it. When this unit attacks a vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to two of your rear guards. Search your deck for up to two cards with the same card name as each of those units. Call them several rear guard and shuffle your deck. So she kind of sets up. Um, she she basically helps you put triggers. She's she's like you know a non legion. She's like a stride put triggers back thing um, is what I'm trying to say so she'll she basically just puts triggers back into your deck uh, so you can abuse it more and then trades out cards that you already have to get copies uh, she's not terrible but I really only play one because the counterblast 3 is huge and it'll just if you use her right off the bat or something it'll just burn through your deck um, so she's very very situational uh, I recommend going with um, the the color uh color aberia she's definitely more um useful uh she's definitely more like consistent and definitely uh almost as useful so um but this card is just you know very counterblast heavy and uh very situational because of that that's why i play one uh you can play two if you want but i'm sure you could see it's 
probably not the best idea to play two. It's I really recommend just playing the one. Um, anyways, yeah, that's about it for this deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Shorter than normal, but uh, very simple standard deck. Uh, not really much to explain in it because it's just all Neo Nectar things and. Uh, yeah, there wasn't much to explain. It it was pretty self-explanatory, but why a lot of this stuff was just good. Uh, I had to explain a couple things, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> enough of my be me blabbing on. Um, so, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, like, comment, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. The deck list will be in the description below, as always, so you can go check that out. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. See you guys next time. If you guys want to see more videos from me, on the left, there are Let's Play videos, so you can go and check those out. And if you guys aren't up for that, on the right, there are Card Fight Vanguard videos, so you can go and check that out. And if you're still not up for those, I have Super Smash Bros, Pokemon, and a Versus series on my channel, so you can go to my channel and check that out. Also, down below is my review channel, where I do reviews, countdowns, game chats, which is like a podcast, and more. And don't forget to check out my Twitter, Facebook, and Skype, all listed at the top there. That is all. Hope you guys enjoy.